Music I've been doing my whole life. I really love music and singing or anything to do with performing, like music, dance, drama. I want to be representing Australia at the Paralympics, so I am aiming for the Paralympics. So I'm a gappy, so that means that I just, I just graduated last year and during my gap year I come back to Shalom and I'm just like a teacher right in classes and they've put me in subjects that I like so. We usually get called like the gappies so knowing how much the staff helped me when I was a student made me kind of wanted to be that role model and be that staff member for younger students coming through this year. We want to provide outcomes and pathways for young people to make the world a little bit better than they found it. I'm much prouder of the culture in this school than I am of the buildings or the facilities. They can be just hollow shells. It's the culture that's really important. Every kid is known and every kid feels like they're known and they're important. When I go into school, I feel safe and I feel happy to go to school. I say to teachers, you know, like I want them to be teachers of young people before teachers of subjects. I would not be the musician I am if it wasn't for all the amazing teachers here. They, they're always just striving to make you, they're like trying to help you be better. When I started Shalom, I had no idea who I was or what I wanted to do, but they give you that opportunity to find your passion, but then not only find it, really hold on to it and evolve and build yourself up from there. I came from, the school that I was at was quite small. Like I only had maybe 30 people in my grade. And then coming here to, I think we've got one of the smallest grades. So we've got 180, but that's actually small for <laughs> Shalom. But I didn't really like interacting with like new people. I was kind of scared. Because coming to a school this size, if you, you feel very alone, if you don't have someone that you can identify with. With you know, just over 1,400 students, one of the things that I, and I know some parents worry about, is that if they send their child here, will they just get lost in the crowd? So our vertical house system really goes a long way to ensure that every child is known. Like we've got, so we've got the eight houses obviously, and in each house we've got PC, so pastoral care groups, and we have like a couple people from each grade in those PC groups. With the mix of year seven through to year 12, you're in there for 15 minutes a day and you make friends that you wouldn't have ever expected. Like That's also helpful in the, like going out into the eating area if you don't have any like friends, I guess. You know those people in PC because you see them every day. Our lockers, our bags, we keep it all in our house. We go to a house every day for PC. The year sevens aren't used to that because it's very different to primary school obviously so it's that really good starting point to introduce them to how things are run at Shalom so then they get to go to swimming carnival and they see what it's all about they get to experience that house spirit for the first time the whole school's for you there's so many opportunities for the students that go to Shalom and they don't really even have to search for them, they're given to you, the staff work really hard to make sure that the students have opportunities right there and they like right there, put there in their laps, they just have to pick them up and they just have to attend. The high performance program, it just kind of really eases your mind. When I was in grade 10 and going to internationals, it was a big help for me because it gives me also extra time to get my work done from being away. So being a racer and keeping my school up, it makes it a lot easier to do that. Um, obviously I just loved all the open doors that Shalom offers. So even if you're not like good at something, like I said, I'm a sporty person, I still got to get involved in all the sporting aspects. And it helps those young people who maybe struggle getting to maths and English if they know that they've got a sport lesson later. It just helps them get through those times when things are a little bit harder. It is a wheelchair friendly school. You've got ramps going into all classrooms. Like There's nowhere I can't access. Whatever path you want to take, they'll have some way for you to work towards that. We, we teach young people by who we are first, not what we know. Our balance at Shalom is to, is to do that compassionately and at the same time, be very clear with kids that we have standards that we expect. 
I'm trying to present something that we think is really fundamental gospel values that's, that's open to anyone. We've had students at the school that are quite not just other Christian religions, but you know, like Muslim um, and Hindu and Buddhist, and um, we we respect their their beliefs uh, just as they respect ours. Because I think that's really crucial in what we do. Like every one of us needs to be able to say, why am I here? You know, what's the purpose of life? What's going to keep me going when things get tough? What am I going to fall back on? And and believe in. The person they've got to satisfy is the person they view in the mirror every day.